John Damlida went missing after he was allegedly arrested by security officers from his workplace in Chiseka Market. The matter was reported to police. However, the 48 legal hours of detention elapsed and Damlida was not produced to any courts of law by any authority. This prompted relatives to seek a habeas corpus, which was granted by Justice Emmanuel Vaguma of the Civil Court Division. The habeas corpus did not yield any results, and the same judge issued an unconditional release order for Damlida. However, attempts by the state attorney and the family lawyers to locate Damlida remained fruitless. As a result, Justice Emmanuel Vaguma dismissed the case until the authorities illegally detaining Damlida are identified. The disappointed family members ended up in tears. To the present, the whereabouts of John Damlira are still unknown. Since his disappearance, the burden of winning bread for the family lies in the hands of his son, Alvin Alimkizi, who struggled especially during the lockdown to take care of his siblings and the two wives of his father. And sometimes I would come back home with nothing, not even a single penny, to get some food that my family could eat at the moment, and sometimes they could starve. Alimukizi's younger sister has to the present failed to access her recently released PLE results because she owes the school some fees balance. Michael Semudo is another man who has been missing ever since he was reportedly abducted on 21st November 2020 from Masanafu Trading Center. According to relatives, Semudo appeared on the list of missing persons, which was presented to Parliament but has never been released. Semudo's family is struggling to survive. The family has been relying on a small shop selling electronic appliances in Masanafu Trading Center. Shadia Nakawesi's husband, Hassan Mubiru, was also allegedly arrested by security operatives from their home in Kawala on 20th November 2020, and his whereabouts are still unknown. <laughs> Nakawesa hoped to rely on the drying cleaning business, but this was stunted by the lockdown, which further added to her misery. Aida Nachiganda, the director in charge of complaints, investigations and legal services at the Uganda Human Rights Commission, admitted to have received several clients complaining about their missing members. The commission uh, conducted its uh, investigations, conducted its inquiries, because we would also want to know where exactly he is. Dan Wandero Gallo, an advocate and legal practitioner, has highlighted alternative channels the affected families can resort to and demand for their missing persons having failed through traditional procedures. They could also petition the High Court for enforcement of the human rights of uh, Damdira. They could ask their member of parliament to bring their petition to the attention of parliament. Asked about this, Charles Twine, the police CID spokesperson, says vigorous efforts have been made to search for Damlida, but there is no record of his detention anywhere. I can authoritatively tell you that we have no any record of his arrest and detention in Uganda police. We are therefore treating it as a case of disappearance. If, if those people who killed the daughter to Rekatumba Amala, we are, we are brought to, to book or we are brought to court. What about this, this, this man who was picked by a drone on his workplace? What did he do? That is far, far bad. The management and the quick response in Katumba's uh, mad attempt was cutters of science. We have equally employed the science on this case. 
but unfortunately we haven't broken through. Trine also admits to have engaged other security agencies. We also consulted from our colleagues of Uganda uh, People's Defense Forces uh, because they, they, they sometimes do operations as you know, but they indicated to us that they didn't have any record of those people. The whereabouts of these Ugandans remain hanging with the family praying for a day justice will be delivered. Patrick